Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this pirate themed cake. So let's get right into it. I'm starting out with two 8 inch cakes that I've cut in half and I'm going to be adding some simple syrup to keep the layers nice and moist and then I'm using some Swiss meringue buttercream to fill my cake. I'm using my small offset spatula to make sure my buttercream is nice and even. And then once my cake is stacked up, I'm going to be adding a thin layer of buttercream all around my cake for my crumb coat. I'm going to pop my cake into the fridge for about 25 to 30 minutes so that the buttercream firms up. When you can touch the buttercream with your finger and none of it comes off, then you know it's ready for the final ice and I just add a liberal amount of buttercream all over my cake and then using my bench scraper I'm smoothing off the sides and scraping most of that buttercream off and then all that buttercream that accumulated at the top of my cake I'm going to take my spatula and just pull that into the center. So once my cake is iced and ready to go, I'm going to pop that back into the fridge and then I'm going to start on my fondant. I'm rolling out some light blue fondant that I've already pre-dyed onto my cornstarch surface and I want that to be about an eighth of an inch thick. Next, I'm going to pick up my fondant with my rolling pin and I'm going to drape that over my chilled cake. Using my fondant smoother in my hands, I'm going to push all the air out from the top of my cake to make sure no bubbles are going to get trapped. And then just working my way down the sides, I'm going to pull out the skirt and just smooth it all down until I reach the bottom. I'm going to go over the entire thing one more time with my fondant smoother and then using my pizza cutter or a sharp knife, I'm just going to trim away all of that excess around the bottom. You can see here I've transferred that cake onto another cake board that I've already covered in fondant and I dusted that with some brown color dust because I'm going to make that look a little more like a treasure map. And then I'm going to be adding some dowels in my cake to add some support. With my wooden dowels, I'm going to space them out evenly on the cake and then using a edible food marker, I'm going to mark off where they're flush with the cake and then I'm going to cut them to size and put them back in. You could use buttercream for this but I'm just using some piping gel and I'm going to put a little bit on top of my cake and then I have another 6 inch tier that I've already covered in fondant and I'm going to place that right on top. To start with my decorations, I'm going to begin by making my pirate ship and I've just rolled out some brown fondant here and I'm going to be using this impression mat. If you don't have an impression mat, you can always just mark the wood grain effect in with a fondant tool but this is just super easy so I'm going to use this and I'm just using a lot of cornstarch because when they stick it's a total pain in the butt so I just try to avoid that. So once I have my fondant rolled out, I'm going to place that into my impression mat and I'm just going to use my fingers to smooth it in to make sure all those little nooks and crannies are going to be embossed into my fondant. And then using my X-Acto knife, I'm just going to cut out the shape that I want and I just eyeballed this. I'm using some of the scraps to cut out some long pieces of my wood so that I can set those aside and I'm going to be using those to decorate my ship in a little bit. Using a little bit of water, I'm going to place my little ship onto my blue tier 
and I'm gonna keep a little bit of space underneath that because I'm gonna add some wave effects later on and I want to make sure that enough of the ship is still gonna be showing. I'm gonna make some sails for my ship so I'm rolling out some beige colored fondant I'm just cutting out some squares and then using my X-Acto knife I'm just cutting out a little notches in the side of a couple of them to make them look a little more rough. I'm gonna set those aside and then start on the water for the bottom of my cake and I'm rolling out a darker blue shade than what I did for the bottom tier of my cake and I'm rolling that out into a long strip and then using my X-Acto knife I'm just cutting out a wave pattern. And then I'm gonna set that aside and I have an even darker shade of blue that I'm gonna do the exact same thing to. I'm gonna use my lightest shade first and I've attached this with some water. And I'm gonna put that all the way around my cake and then on the bottom I'm gonna add my darker shade of blue so it's a bit of an ombre effect. Moving on to the sword that's going through the top of the cake, I've cut out a little template of a sword for myself and I will attach the one that I used below. And I'm just going to be cutting that out with my X-Acto knife out of some black fondant. And then I'm just doing the exact same thing for the handle, but I just eyeballed the shape. I wanted my sword to be completely set up and dry before I tried to add it to my cake, so I actually made these things the night before the cake was going to be decorated. Moving back to my pirate ship, I'm cutting out another piece of brown fondant that I had embossed with my wood grain effect, and I'm adding a little deck to the back of my ship. And then using the strips of brown fondant that I had set aside, I'm adding the masts, and onto those I'm going to be adding my little sails that I cut out. I highly recommend using some piping gel to attach your sails instead of just water because it is a little more sturdy. I'm rolling out some red fondant really thin and then cutting out these long triangle shapes and those are going to be the flags that I'm adding to the top of two of my masts. I'm using some more piping gel to attach these and you can see I cut out a larger black one for the middle one. Using the back of a piping tip, I cut out three black circles from my portholes and added those to the front of my ship. And then I rolled out some brown fondant in long thin ropes and just put those all around and I attached those with water. To make my treasure chest, I'm taking more of my brown fondant and then just using my hands and my fondant smoother to get this rectangle shape. I did the exact same thing for the lid, though I just wanted it to be a little more rounded on the top. To make the little gold coins that are going to go inside of my treasure chest, I rolled out some yellow fondant really thin, and then using a small round piping tip, 
I just cut out a bunch of these. I then added those into a little bowl and I sprinkled in some of my Rolcom Super Gold Luster Dust and then just shook those all around until they were all coated. I find this is the easiest way to get them all completely covered versus just trying to dust the Luster Dust on each individual one. To finish off the blade of my dagger, I've attached two skewers to the back and secured them with some fondant. And then I let that completely dry and I brushed the entire dagger with some shortening and then using my super silver Rolcom Luster Dust, I just brushed that on with a paintbrush. For the skull that's gonna go on the top of the cake, I cut out a template for myself and I will attach the picture that I used below and I rolled out some black fondant really thin and then just using my X-Acto knife just cut the shapes out. I attached that to my cake using some shortening because when you use water on a darker color like that it will smudge if you have to move it around if you don't get it on there straight the first time whereas shortening allows you just to make some adjustments and the color won't drag. To complete the handle for my dagger, I rolled out a long snake of black fondant and then tapered off the ends and just curled those in just to give it more of a flare and then I just attach that to the other piece of my handle using some water. Now that my treasure chest has set up a bit, I pressed that into my wood grain mat and then I cut out some long strips of yellow fondant and attached those to the front and the top of the lid to look like latches and then added a little piece for the front where the key bit would be. So now I'm adding the dagger to my cake and just taking my time to make sure that they kind of line up where I'm pressing my handle in the top and the dagger in the bottom. You don't want to have your dagger be like really far forward so it looks like it's bent somewhere in the cake to poke out. For the sand on top, I'm using some piping gel and spreading that all around and then sprinkling on some almond flour. You could also use brown sugar. And then on top of that, I'm going to be adding my treasure chest and securing the coins in there using some more piping gel and then adding the lid right on top. To complete my treasure chest, I mixed together some more of my gold luster dust with a little bit of food grade alcohol until it had a nice paint consistency, and then I'm just painting all of the yellow details. I added more of my sand at the base of my first tier, and I just added a couple little coins here and there throughout that as well.
And then the very last thing I did on this cake was paint on my little white skull on the top of my black flag. And I used some white food gel coloring for this and a fine tip paintbrush. And then I just added the eyes and the little marks in for the teeth using some black food coloring. So this was the final result guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.